welcome back to my channel. Woo! Today's the day, guys. Today we are going to Mega Mall right now to go to the DC Superheroes Cafe opening. If you guys missed my video about the promotion of this DC Cafe opening, don't worry, I will be leaving it up there so you can go check it out. I am currently in a part of my outfit for the event. I'll be wearing everything else when I get to the mall, but for now, I think the grab driver is there, so wee, let's go! Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off.
frozen at all this day. Have you? No. Have you? Have, have you, you tried? Have you eaten? What? <laughs> <laughs> so this is where me and Carla first met. It is Mega Trade Hall 2. And that was last year, Toy Con. The moment where our friendship began. I came out with you. There, there. Go, mom. A bit? Yes. Okay, don't move. <laughs> don't move. Got it. And we're back. Just a few things I want to clear out. Um, I'm currently not where I used to live anymore. I am currently at my Lola's house. Um, I will explain that in a few videos later on. But for now, I, it has to be a secret. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some of you might already know why I'm here because I've probably talked to you the past two weeks. Which also explains why I haven't been posting these past two weeks because I'm in a place with very, very bad Wi-Fi, very bad internet. So yeah, that is why I'm posting two weeks later. And well, because I've just been busy with a lot of things, which will be explained in future videos. But for now, let's get back to the main topic, which is the DC Cafe opening. And it's time to spill the truth. <laughs> Gotta spill the tea. Not gonna lie, I already had an outro for this video, but after talking to my friends about it, they all said and we all agreed that the best thing to do would just be to tell the truth, not to super sugarcoat what happened. So this is my third outro. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so the DC Cafe opening you guys saw, well, I had fun most of the time. But we obviously can't deny that there were a lot of things that went wrong. One of the major things that went wrong was definitely the time, the schedule. What everyone knew is that the opening for us would be at 12.30. But as you guys saw, it was almost 3 o'clock and I don't even know if the line barely moved because they were letting people in or because other people just left. Because from where I was standing, a lot of people decided to leave because they just got tired of waiting in line since 9 a.m. Which I totally understand. I mean, if I wasn't doing it for the vlog, I would have left earlier as well. But I don't know, because like, I understand it was the grand opening so that there would be a lot of people and it would just be a mess. But I feel like this should have been organized better. Like if they said that they would start letting people in at 12.30, they should have done so. But again, I do not know the whole story, the whole reason why it happened, but this is what I was hearing from the other people who were in line or from the other people who came from the other side. They were saying that it's already like 1, 1.30, why are they not letting us in yet? What I can say that I appreciate are the people who are in cosplays, especially Flash and Superman because they went to us, the people in line, they were making sure we were all okay. They gave the children milkshakes so that they won't feel that tired or so that they'd get their energy back, which is really good. And yeah, kudos to you guys. The other thing I want to talk about are the goodies in the goodie bag. Not gonna lie, I expected more for the first 200 people who were there. Actually, from what I heard, not everyone from 200 actually got goodies giveaways which was sad because that is why we went there early to, was to get the goodies that they promised us for the lucky ones who were still able to get the goodies what they gave us was a poster of justice league they gave us like postcards and the discount the 100 peso discount i think yeah so well, I, I expected more. <laughs> I feel like those things you could just get anywhere else except for the discount card. So... Eh. <laughs> Some people actually got notebooks and a discount card. I actually wanted the notebook more because <laughs> it seemed cooler and I feel like I would have been able to use the notebook more than the poster and the postcards. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I love the poster. The poster looked great. 
but yeah I, I feel like I was just expecting more that's just me as you guys saw we were getting really tired of waiting we were getting bored so we decided to leave unfortunately I wasn't able to taste the food but from what I saw it looked great it actually really looked good and from what I heard everyone said that they loved the food so great job DC cafe but for me well I don't know because it's DC and it's a cafe so for sure prices would have been expensive but knowing your girl <laughs> anything over 100 is way too expensive for me because I'm cheap I can't say anything about that because I never tried it but maybe in the future because I need to use that discount card <laughs> honestly my biggest issue was just waiting because we were a lot of people who were in line who have been there since like 8 some people were there by 8 I was already there by 10 and I was already 102 so I guess that was my biggest issue about the opening but other than that I don't know I don't like again it was the opening so I really don't know this is me just telling you guys what I experienced and also what everyone else was experiencing because we were all frustrated and because we had to wait in line for such a long time but yeah and in the past two weeks I've been reading all of the comments from the cafe opening I've seen other people post videos about it the reactions and we all pretty much say the same thing except other people actually got to taste the food so I'm sorry about that your girl was just too hungry to wait for one more hour there were so 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 many hate comments and there were also other people defending DC cafe I feel like I'm in between because I don't want to bash people I don't want to bash like places or restaurants because I I think they deserve another chance and hopefully that they redeem themselves especially to everyone who's been giving bad reviews because I feel like it would be such a waste like I know that they put a lot of effort into that cafe so if they were to shut it down in the next year that would just be sad so I hope that they get to redeem themselves and I hope that everyone gives them a second chance like me in the future because I need to use that discount card so um, yeah, I hope that everything turns out well in the future for DC Cafe. People from DC Cafe, if you're watching this, God bless you. I'm gonna be praying for you guys to redeem yourselves because I don't want to see what you guys worked hard on go to waste. And I guess that's it. I'm sorry for not being able to upload, but I promise you I have so many videos already lined up. I just need fast internet. What about you guys? If you guys were at the DC Cafe or if you've heard news about it, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. I want to hear what you guys think as always. That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it or even if you didn't, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn your post notifications on for more videos. I will do my best to have a video uploaded by tomorrow i will actually film it later in the car so i'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow bye